Welcome to our channel. Today, we dive into the captivating story of Joan of Arc, an iconic figure who defied societal norms and led armies to victory during the Hundred Years' War. Join us as we explore the life, achievements, and lasting legacy of this remarkable historical figure. Early Life and Divine Visions Our story begins in Domremy, France, where Joan of Arc was born in 1412. Raised in a humble farming family, Joan experienced divine visions from a young age, hearing the voices of saints encouraging her to save France from English domination. We'll delve into the significance of these visions and their impact on Joan's life. The visions Joan of Arc had played a significant role in shaping her life and impact. Here are the significance of her visions and their impact. 1. Shattering gender barriers in a deeply patriarchal society. Joan's visions provided her with an additional source of legitimacy and authority. The belief that she received divine guidance allowed her to challenge traditional gender norms and assumptions. Her visions gave her the confidence to claim her place as a military leader, breaking through societal barriers and paving the way for other women to challenge gender roles in the future. 2. Symbol of nationalism and inspiration. Joan's visions and her subsequent actions turned her into a symbol of French nationalism. Her divine mission to save France from the English invader resonated deeply with the people, fostering a sense of patriotism and national unity. Even after her death, her memory and legacy continued to inspire generations, with her story serving as a powerful example of courage, faith, and determination. 3. Divine Calling Joan believed her visions came from saints and archangels, instructing her to save France from English domination. This divine calling fueled her sense of purpose and gave her the conviction to take action. It provided her with a strong sense of mission and propelled her to pursue her destiny fearlessly. 4. Gaining credibility, Joan's visions not only influenced her but also had an impact on those around her. When she shared her experiences and the divine guidance she received, it captured the attention and imagination of influential figures, including Charles VII, the Dauphin of France. Her visions and the belief in her divine mission helped her gain credibility and support from key individuals, enabling her to secure an army and position of leadership. 5. Inspiring troops, Joan's visions and the aura of divine favor that surrounded her inspired and motivated her troops. The belief that she had been chosen by God to lead them instilled a sense of confidence and courage among the soldiers. Joan's unwavering conviction and spiritual authority inspired loyalty and unity boosting morale and contributing to the military successes achieved under her command. The Hundred Years' War was a protracted conflict that lasted from 1337 to 1453, primarily between the kingdoms of England and France. It was a complex series of military campaigns, political maneuvering, and shifting alliances. Here is a brief overview of the key events and factors that shaped the Hundred Years' War. 1. Origins and Causes the war was triggered by a combination of political, territorial, and economic disputes between England and France. England's King Edward III claimed the French crown based on his descent from the French royal family. Disputes over the control of territories in modern-day France, including Gascony and Flanders, also fueled tensions between the two powers. 2. Early English victories The conflict began with English successes including the Battle of Crecy in 1346 and the Battle of Poitiers in 1356. English longbowmen played a crucial role in these victories, showcasing the power of their archery against the French knights. 3. Joan of Arc and the Turning Point In the early 15th century, France faced internal strife and was on the brink of collapse. However, the emergence of Joan of Arc, a young peasant girl who claimed divine guidance, provided a turning point, inspired by her visions. Joan led French forces to significant victories, including the lifting of the Siege of Orleans. This boosted French morale and led to the eventual coronation of Charles VII. 4. Treaty of Troyes and Succession Crisis The Treaty of Troyes in 1420 declared Henry V of England as the heir to the French throne, further complicating the conflict. However, Henry V's premature death and the resilient French resistance led to a succession crisis. This, Combined with Joan of Arc's capture and subsequent execution in 1431, shifted the momentum in favor of the French. 5. French counteroffensive and conclusion Under the leadership of Charles VII and skilled military commanders like Bertrand du Guesclin, the French gradually regained control of their territories. They successfully expelled the English from most of France, 
culminating in the final French victory at the Battle of Castillon in 1453, which marked the end of the Hundred Years' War. The Hundred Years' War had significant social, political, and military impacts on both England and France. It fueled the rise of national identities, spurred military innovations, and led to political transformations in both countries. The war also left a lasting legacy of hostility and strained relations between England and France for centuries to come. Defying gender norms, in an era dominated by men, Joan of Arc challenged societal norms and defied expectations. We'll examine how she gained the trust and support of influential figures, ultimately convincing Charles VII to grant her an army. Joan's unwavering determination and charisma shattered gender barriers and led her to become a commander in the French military. Victories and leadership. Joan's military campaigns showcased her exceptional leadership skills. We'll highlight her crucial role in lifting the siege of Orleans, a turning point in the Hundred Years' War. Through her strategic brilliance and unwavering belief in her cause, Joan inspired her troops and won several crucial battles, paving the way for the eventual coronation of Charles VII. Joan of Arc played a crucial role in the lifting of the Siege of Orleans during the Hundred Years' War. Here are the key contributions she made. Inspiration and Leadership Joan's arrival at Orleans in April 1429 brought renewed hope and inspiration to the besieged city. Her presence and unwavering belief in her divine mission boosted the morale of the French troops and instilled a renewed sense of determination to resist the English. Strategic Guidance Joan actively participated in the planning and strategy sessions with military commanders. She advised on military tactics, including the placement of artillery and the coordination of attacks. Her strategic insights and leadership helped shape the French defenses and their approach to breaking the siege. Courageous Action Joan fearlessly led the troops into battle during several assaults on English fortifications. She was at the forefront, rallying the soldiers and leading them with her banner raised high. Her personal bravery and unwavering commitment to the cause inspired those around her to fight with renewed vigor. Symbolic Presence Joan's presence on the battlefield and her iconic banner, bearing the words Jesus Maria, had a powerful psychological impact on both the French and English forces. She became a symbol of French resistance and her divine mission gave her an aura of invincibility in the eyes of her supporters. Turning the Tide, Joan's involvement and strategic guidance proved instrumental in turning the tide of the siege. Under her leadership, the French forces experienced a series of victories, gaining momentum and pushing back the English. These successes eventually led to the complete lifting of the siege on May 8, 1429, marking a significant turning point in the Hundred Years' War. The lifting of the Siege of Orleans was a pivotal moment that boosted French morale, solidified Joan of Arc's reputation as a military leader, and set the stage for further successes in the war. Joan's contributions in terms of inspiration, leadership, strategy, and her symbolic presence played a critical role in breaking the English stronghold and saving the city of Orleans from capture. The trial of Joan of Arc was a highly controversial and infamous event in history. Here are some details of her trial. Joan of Arc was charged with heresy and witchcraft. The ecclesiastical court accused her of dressing in men's clothing, claiming divine guidance, and leading military campaigns, which they deemed to be acts of heresy and defiance against church authority. The trial took place in two phases, the first being the ecclesiastical trial, February 21 to March 24, 1431, and the second being the revisal trial, May 2 to May 23, 1431. The trials were conducted by an ecclesiastical court led by Pierre Cachon, a pro-English bishop. Joan was subjected to intense interrogations and faced attempts to manipulate her through psychological and legal tactics. The court sought to undermine her claims of divine guidance, labeling them as false and attributing them to demonic influence. Conflicting testimonies, witnesses from both sides testified during the trial. Some testified in favor of Joan, highlighting her piety, courage, and divine intervention, while others gave statements against her, questioning her actions and motives. Unjust verdict and execution, despite Joan's unwavering faith and resilience, the court declared her guilty of heresy and sentenced her to death. On May 30, 1431, Joan of Arc was burned at the stake in Rouen, France. In 1456, a posthumous retrial was conducted, and Joan of Arc was declared innocent of all charges. The court recognized the unjust nature of her trial, 
highlighting the political motivations and the absence of proper legal procedures. The trial of Joan of Arc was not only a legal proceeding but also a political event aimed at discrediting her and the cause she represented. It reflected the tensions between the French and English factions during the Hundred Years' War, as well as the Church's role in politics and matters of heresy. Joan's trial and subsequent execution became a symbol of injustice and persecution, and her memory has endured as an icon of courage and resilience. Legacy and Inspiration Though Joan's life was cut short at the age of 19, her legacy continues to resonate. We'll discuss the enduring impact she had on French nationalism, her posthumous exoneration, and her canonization as a saint by the Catholic Church. Furthermore, we'll explore how Joan of Arc's story has inspired countless individuals, artists, and leaders throughout history. Joan of Arc's story and her remarkable achievements have inspired individuals, artists, and leaders throughout history in various ways. Here are some ways in which she has been a source of inspiration, symbol of courage and determination, Joan of Arc's unwavering courage, determination, and unwavering faith in the face of adversity have made her an enduring symbol of resilience. Her story has inspired countless individuals to face their own challenges with bravery and tenacity, serving as a reminder that one person can make a significant impact. Feminist icon and gender equality Joan's defiance of traditional gender roles and her ability to break through societal barriers have positioned her as a feminist icon. Her story has empowered women and served as a symbol of strength, independence, and the fight for gender equality. Joan's legacy has inspired women to pursue their ambitions, challenge societal norms, and overcome obstacles. Nationalism and Patriotism Joan of Arc's role in French nationalism during the Hundred Years' War has made her an enduring symbol of French patriotism. Her unwavering dedication to her country has inspired generations of French citizens to love and protect their nation. Her story has become deeply intertwined with French identity and serves as a reminder of the strength and resilience of the French people. Artistic depictions Joan of Arc's story has been a popular subject in literature, theater, and visual arts. Countless writers, playwrights, painters, and filmmakers have depicted her story, exploring different facets of her life and the themes of faith, courage, and leadership. These artistic interpretations have further perpetuated her inspiring legacy. Leadership and Vision Joan of Arc's ability to rally troops, make strategic decisions, and lead by example has made her a role model for leaders throughout history. Her visionary approach to military campaigns and her unwavering belief in her divine mission have inspired leaders in various fields to demonstrate strong leadership, persevere in the face of adversity, and act with conviction and integrity. Joan of Arc's inspiring story continues to resonate with people from all walks of life, and her legacy serves as a reminder of the transformative power of faith, determination, and courage. Her impact is evident in the admiration artistic interpretations, and the inspiration she has provided to individuals, artists, and leaders across generations. As we conclude this video, we reflect on the incredible journey of Joan of Arc, a fearless warrior whose indomitable spirit and unwavering conviction left an indelible mark on history. Her story serves as a powerful reminder that courage, determination, and a belief in one's purpose can overcome even the most daunting obstacles. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the life of Joan of Arc. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our future content. Share your thoughts, comments, and any other historical figures you'd like us to explore in the future. Until next time, keep seeking knowledge and discovering the extraordinary stories that shape our world.